Hey YouTube, thanks for checking out RV Daydream, and today I've got Heidi with us, and we're going to uh, catch up on some videos you guys uh, were asking <laughs> what was happening with us, and we've been busy with stuff that had nothing to do with videos. What have you been up to? I've been riding on a daydream. Um, we did, however, go look at some RVs, so we wanted to... Uh, talk about those briefly now you know you guys have been following us for a long time uh, that I keep on talking about this one specific floor plan that I've been wanting to get into and that is on a, a Catalina 261 RKS uh, so I still have yet to find a brand new one uh, but we did find one that was a 2012 mm -hmm. And uh, it had some issues, but let me go ahead and show you the clip. Got off here in Hubbard, and uh, this is the RV dealer here. It's uh, called Homestead RV. I don't know much about them. Um, I don't think they're very big. I, I've seen a couple of their stickers on some uh, RVs at other lots. So let's go in here and take a look at what they got to offer. Yeah, they got a lot of Jayco models here. Kind of like the way that one looks. It's definitely longer than I want. But you can see here this one in the corner it's got this light colored front not the sprinter but this catalina deluxe um they got some sort of delamination up near the uh the lights looks like the lights leaked in because it's all sunk in there but this is the model uh, this is the one we've been trying to look at if you can see it's a little bit lower it's not a tall model uh, it's got a full length awning it's a power awning and it's uh only 28 foot long um it's like the bumper is flush it'll be kind of hard to get a a mount on there of any kind but it only has one slide um but this is the floor plan we've been looking for for a long time now and this is the first time i've got to get into one We like the fact that all that counter space is available just because they put the sink here instead of putting the sink in the corner, which is kind of a waste. Um, there is a decent amount of cabinetry. You would expect a rear kitchen to have the best kitchen space. Where that suffers is in the other rooms then. Now in this case, you have this couch here, oh, which is comfortable and it's long. This is a 70 inch couch. I really like to see the slide in on this one. Wonder if the battery's connected. Let's see here. Slide in. Damn it. <laughs> they probably have it turned off, but I'm going to have them put the slide in. Um, there's the TV and the dinette. Of course, the dinette's going to be relatively comfortable. Um, you can see here, decent amount of seating. This is the plan. I'm telling you, this is the plan the floor plan we want uh this is why even though there's cabinets here for the kitchen why this one don't suffer it has this large wardrobe i love that i love it i love it so you have all this storage here and of course this comes in on the slide this is where i want to wonder how well it's accessible to the bathroom now this is the difference between a lot of the double door RVs and this one look how big this bathroom is and you get the door that comes in I mean this is a very nice layout the shower it's been winterized let's go ahead in here it seems like the wall has come up oh it's just glued okay there's so much room in here it's ridiculous this is like a 34 inch by 34 inch plan of course cabinet here and another one underneath here yeah this is I, I love this layout this is why we wanted it I'll have to say though getting into the bathroom might be a chore and then we come into here and you can see deep 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 uh, I, my arm won't even reach that I don't think let me check well yeah it does 
very deep storage and then of course overhead storage here yeah I wanted to look at that okay so the inside hasn't been affected by whatever's going on outside as far as I can tell yeah nothing's come in I'll check the other side nice mattress this is some sort of a wow this is some sort of a memory foam then they've got underbed storage and then of course there's pass-through storage out there too hmm place for the TV in here and again I want to check on this make sure there's no damage that have come in from those because this one's looking pretty enticing the way it is yeah that's pretty decent too and it has a door for the bedroom it's a sliding door so the only question I have now is how much accessibility is there whenever the slides all the way in hmm it's gonna be questionable it definitely is and the slides not extremely big as you can see um, the depth isn't real deep I mean it's uh, just past my elbow as far as from the back of the wall in yeah this is very very well nice 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 laid out I don't know if this is just a single shade yeah just a single shade this is the one it's gotta be this layout is the one let me put it that way I don't know necessarily if this RV is the one but this layout is definitely the one it's not heavy it's comfortable it's extra seating of course this pulls out into a bed the storage on the tanks isn't great but it's not bad either um, it's not as good as ours so I don't know what to be, you know, what's to be said about that. And then this is the uh, awning. Hmm. Very nice. Our refrigerator, basically, same one we have. A lot of traffic here. Flying J's across the street. The microwave's a little small, but yeah, Heidi would love this. This is definitely, definitely the layout. Hmm. Let me go outside and walk around this model. So the tires are uh well they say load star on them, but I'm just looking at the size. They are 14s. I don't see if they're a C, a D, or an E. Oh, probably a C. which I have uh, D's on mine even though mine calls for C's yeah I love this layout let's go look at the hookups of course your uh, sewer hose there's your connection your 30 amp connection uh, it's got regular crank down you know normal crank down style jacks uh, the slide looks like it's been dragging on something here. Doesn't look like that it's been happy going in and out. Oh no, it's just some sort of a gum. But they did put silicone here, so I'll have to check. I gotta go in there and check to see if there's any floor damage. The only reason they put silicone is if there was some kind of a leak. Um, this has got black on it. That looks like it may need to be redone. That looks okay there. I like the metal. man the sewer hose sets low um, this is all uh, sealed off underbelly um, with uh, heat provided I can't believe how low that sets that is incredibly low that is almost lower than mine hmm mm hmm hmm the only reason I kind of say hmm is because the front of this RV is actually up a little bit too 
looks like this thing's been either sitting in the wet or has, uh, well, it's been exposed to some weather. That's for sure. I mean, it is a 2012. Again, not real sure about this. I think this is the model we want, though. Everything about it. Let's go ahead and look at the pass-through storage. That's not bad. There are mushrooms growing. That's right. Those are mushrooms. <laughs> Tell me there's not moisture in here. Yeah, this is a hard pass on this one. <laughs> it's very wet. What a shame. Uh, yeah, this is, uh, let's see here. I don't know if the wind's coming across. Sorry about that. The dry weight is uh, 5,495 pounds. Uh, the total weight of this thing fully loaded is 7,500 pounds. So, well, there is a battery. Just must not be connected or they flip the switch or something. I want to see this. I want to see uh, the slide in so on I this So I had them uh, put the slide in and you know, it works. Uh, there, It's tight to get into the bathroom and it's tight to get into the bedroom, but the whole point is you can get into the bathroom and you can get into the bedroom. Now the, the bathroom's easy to get to if you just go uh, to the uh, other door because the door empties right into the bathroom. Um, into the bedroom, of course, it's a little bit different. And the slide is very small. You know, I don't think I would have a problem putting that slide out if we were at Walmart. If we're at the truck stops, that's something entirely different. I don't think I'd put the slide out for that. But um, that RV, that specific RV, even though it's got a little bit of damage on it, I, I think that's pretty decent. Um, it's bringing up some, some thoughts, that's for sure, <laughs> to, to put it lightly. It's a one owner RV. Um, there was an older couple that needed to downsize into something smaller because they're going to be traveling all over the place. So there's some repairs that I could see and some upgrades that I could see that needs to be done, but this is a nice place. This is homesteadrv.net. It's homestead RV, all one blurb, and then .net. So uh, if you guys want to look into what they have, uh, they got some YouTube videos of stuff, but those YouTube videos really are of um, uh, units that they may or may not have on lot. It may be something they sold. They keep that on record for reference and uh, to, uh, you know, for information for people that may want to see, you know, floor plans and stuff like that and interior colors. But, yeah, I like uh, I like the whole deal here. Um, okay, so you can see what we like saw or what I saw. And then I brought Heidi later and we, we filmed some stuff, but we, we didn't really keep it because... Um, she kind of decided that that's probably not a good RV for us just because of it being used. She didn't mind the floor plan. Right. She was okay. Um, but, you know, we haven't got into an RV yet uh, as um, J Super. Uh, good information you've been giving us. He just picked up a new RV himself. And uh, he's been, you know, saying the things that we already know, but... Um, hearing them again from him you know just reiterates the fact that we, we've got to look at quality RVs uh, to get the kind of quality that we're expecting so we're in between we're in between uh, buying something used uh, like that one that we just saw or buying a new one that's like that used one that's going to be a little bit better but uh, you know it's not going to last any period of time so we're thinking and when I say period of time you know after five years, six years, we're probably going to want to get rid of it. Uh, so should we spend that kind of money on that? Probably not. However, um, you know, finding one that we go, wow, this is it. I love this RV. Uh, that's only happened once to us. One time. So let's go ahead and go to that clip real quick. All right, guys, so we're checking out the Lance 2375, and Rick was nice enough to put the slide in for us so we could see what it looked like with the slide in. This is plenty of room for us um, whenever you're boondocking. This is the kind of situation that we were looking at. Uh, this is the one that has the couch in the back instead of the two chairs, which is fine with us. And uh, they are recliners, so that makes it awful nice for... Uh, um, relax and kick them back a bit and as far as all this material it's so soft it's incredible day night shades uh, dual plane uh, dual pane windows and uh, again the quality is just 
way, way up there as far as the build on these things. Uh, as far as the length overall, this is well within what we were looking for to stay in some of the national parks. It just has a little battery that's running all this, which <laughs> is doing a pretty good job, actually. Uh, this does have solar already on it. It's 160 amp solar that's up top. And uh, we've been wanting to look at one of these forever. And there's not very many uh, dealers out there, and especially in Ohio. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I didn't even see that. That is very nice. This is so well lit up and so well laid out. Mm -hmm. Glass top, um, the bathroom, mirror. We already know what it's like in here. We've, we've looked at these before uh, as far as the shower situation. Of course, the floor is not moving in this one. The shower is plenty big enough even for my big fat body to be in here. I got plenty of room. The headroom's fine, of course. Um, flush toilet as far as the foot flush and uh, generous medicine cabinet again this is all in a, a shorter um, shorter package and then you have these cabinets here again all this is in under 28 foot then you've got pantry storage out here you've got a sliding pantry um, this is so much better quality uh, some sort of a night table here's the other door and here's the layout. These are very, very well made. Man, it's going to take me awful, awful lot of retention for me not to buy this thing. <laughs> it's a sweet. All right, guys, so here's the outside. Uh, this has a triple 20-pound propane tank. There's batteries on both sides. This does have the ability to put uh, solar uh, suitcase style um, right here that's kind of nice it's got the big opening with the slide uh, got a place out here for external gas of course uh, they're magnetic all the way around this is so you can put an outdoor TV if you'd like to do that um, the uh, roof is brilliant uh, it's a TPO this ladder is so heavy it's definitely industrial this doesn't set high at all. This is a very, very low. You can see it already has the uh, rear camera on it. Of course, LEDs. And, uh, yeah, this is just brilliant all the way around. Man, I'm loving this. I think this might be the one. So what do you think about that, Lance? It's very nice. It was great quality. It was incredible. But <clears throat> we still haven't seen everything either. I mean, if we get out west... They have yet different, right? They're, right. The thing is with the Lance is, you know, it's made in California. And, and, I mean, some of the... Just to give you a guide, an idea of the level of quality that Lance has. Um, you know, how many miles are on your RV whenever it arrives at the dealer? Well, <laughs> any of them that's built in Indiana, you know, we have about 200 miles that's on every RV that's in Ohio that's brand new. Um, and, uh, you know, if they're made out West, uh, I don't know exactly any RV dealers like outdoors RV. I don't think there's any in this area. You have to go out West for them. But as far as Lance, they do have dealers that are spread throughout the country. Um, that Lance RV, when it gets here has zero miles because they flatbed them. They do not tow them to their location. They flatbed them all the way in. So there's no chance of that RV having 2,000 miles on it when you get it. <laughs> uh, which, that's just one small example of, of their quality and, and how good that stuff is. So, why didn't we go with that one? Um, price. Uh, it was not that it wasn't a good deal. It was one of the lowest prices in the country for that RV. Comparing prices online, uh, they were right there. But, I think we want to do cash. Yeah, $4,600 down payment to finance. Um, we're, we're not that wealthy. <laughs> we <laughs> we're don't not have, wealthy at all. We, we don't have that kind of money. 
I mean, whenever I spend $3,800 for my truck and for them to ask for a down payment that's equal to what I paid for my truck that's going to be pulling this thing around, uh, that's there's there's something to be said about that um i don't know if i don't know if it's good or bad i just i i i couldn't do it I, it was it was just too difficult uh we could probably if we had a little bit better credit scores we probably could have done better there but um to where we might not have had to put down but it is 10 percent. 10 percent is kind of traditional for rvs All right um i mean it's not like it's unheard of to do 5% or, you know, put nothing down if you have, you know, Rockefeller credit, but 10% uh, is kind of normal for our credit and our credit's kind of average. It's a, it's not below average, but it's on the low side of average for sure. And I just don't see um, doing that unless we made a plan to pay it off whenever we sold the house, which we have talked about that. Uh, so. If you guys know what a Lance 2375 uh, is like, other than what I just showed you in the clip, that is really the RV we're looking for. Um, the, the extra space of maybe a rear living situation with like a dinette and a couple of recliners would be nice, but that length, that height, that size, everything about it was just perfect. It was exactly what we wanted. I mean, even the bumper extended just far enough that I could put some sort of a rack, fold down rack on it for a generator. Uh, it, it just was perfect. Uh, I mean, it's the video was kind of the clip was quick, but it, it's you know, all seasons. It was an all seasons RV. It's you know to rated zero. rated to zero. It it's just everything about it was perfect. I mean, it came with solar, it, even though it was 160 watts. It still came with it and. It had a provision to plug in a suitcase panel in the front tongue or in the uh, front part of the uh, RV. So, I mean, all that. I, it just it just was perfect. Uh, it had the three, the tri. Yeah, the tri tanks. Yeah. So it had three propane tanks on it. It had a TPO roof. I got up there and looked at it, and I guess TPO. I would have to think that I feel a little bit more better about TPO than I do EPDM just the way it felt but I don't know over a long term I, I would assume it wears out you know just like any other roof does maybe if it was fiberglass or something it wouldn't um, the ladder on the back as soon as I got to the ladder to climb up you know I looked at the roof on the uh, Rockwood that we did a video on that we really liked and uh, still like and still consider and I'm not sure who watched our video um, that has the uh, equivalent flagstaff on ebay uh, that is a, a very good deal it's a very nice rv it's just that we 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 don't necessarily want that rv um not yours specifically um just that rockwood or you know we would have already went and, and picked it up or <laughs> or at least talked about it because it was a fair price it was twenty seven thousand mm -hmm. dollars and it had some decent they it, added a lot yeah of extras yeah there was uh you know slide toppers uh for all the slides had electric jacks and uh it, it was nice i mean it was new and uh, we liked it um but compared to the lance i mean it's but again the lance you're talking twenty thousand dollars well not quite twenty thousand it's uh nineteen thousand dollars let's see twelve thirty twenty seven so three so fifteen thousand dollars more uh, to get into the Lance, but that Lance was nice. I mean, it, the, the torsion rubber axles uh, for independent suspension. Makes you wonder how long the, the Lance would last versus just a regular. Yeah, it, you or know, whatever. if if we had somebody that came and, and bought our house tomorrow, um, that Lance would be in our driveway tomorrow. I mean, it, it, it was the RV, but it's kind of hard hearing that you're going to put uh, forty six hundred dollars as a down payment, and pay three hundred and seventy dollars for twelve years. I mean, twelve years is a long time. That RV will definitely last twelve years, but I don't want to be making payments for twelve years. I mean, after five years, that would still give us seven years while we're out on the road that we're trying to pay three hundred and seventy eight dollars a month for the payment. 
unless we paid it off from the proceeds from the house. Now, Heidi and I talked about that a little bit to where I maybe not get a new truck. I stick with this truck, do everything I can to make it more bulletproof than it already is, which that would pretty much entail an $1,800 transmission and some money in the bank in case we have any engine problems because the engine is at 170 7,000 miles, uh, although it doesn't feel like it. I swear somebody's rebuilt it or something because <laughs> it, it just, there's no noise. <laughs> it's just nothing. It's so quiet. It's just so perfect. Um, but uh, that would allow us to, whenever we sold the home, just pay off that RV and uh, tow it around with the old truck. But that Lance was beautiful. Mm, it was. Yes. Yeah. yeah. If you, anybody knows of any way to... Uh, win a lance lottery <laughs> uh get in touch with us but anyways we're we're getting off topic a little bit there um we're going to be doing a video that's going to be after this one uh which is going to be for newbie rvers uh, more than anything else so if you guys see that um if you want to watch what we got to say and uh, comment on it that'd be great but um as far as what we're doing the, the, getting ready to winterize our rv uh we thought we was going to have to do it today because the forecast had next week, there was three days out of the week that was 29 degrees for lows. Um, for whatever reason, the forecast switched. I mean, today is 65 degrees. It's rainy, but it's 65 degrees out, and it is November 5th, and it's not bad. Uh, I would love that, but we are gonna get cold tomorrow into the 50s, then after that, I think we're gonna be into the uh, 40s and lower and then 30s for the lows um, but it's not enough to free so we're going to keep the rv unwinterized as long as possible just in case we get into a situation we might be able to go somewhere um, and uh, also that way whenever i go to florida for the winter <laughs> i had to go and roll her eyes on that <laughs> as soon as my son we get his van done uh, we're going to go down to florida i'm going to take the rv he's going to follow me in the van <laughs> just kidding um of course i want to go it'd, it'd be arizona <laughs> how do you be up here plowing the driveway by herself <laughs> she wouldn't even plow the driveway she'd be plowing the driveway with her honda <laughs> i'd just be driving through it forget yeah. the plowing yeah although we've tried to do that a couple times when the weather's gotten really bad here and there's no getting out um mm. no way and honda that oh, wasn't the honda it was the buick, buick. remember that one year it pulled the exhaust loose <laughs> pulling out the going over the snowbank at the end of the driveway mm. but that's what we've been doing we wanted to give you some sort of an update uh we've been talking about a lot of things amongst ourselves uh, one of them is uh health insurance for heidi uh for the road um if you guys have any personal experience good or bad um put in the comments for any of these christian health share um type plans there's three of them that are the main ones, and I'm just curious. Uh, we, we see a lot about it, and uh, gunshot. Sound like a gunshot to me. But Heidi, she, um, she has a tendency to watch too much uh, Scientology on Annie and that cult <laughs> that, I, I don't know. She, she just finds it fascinating, and uh, I think she's thinking some of this Christian health ministry health share stuff and some of these other ones, the uh, Samaritan and I don't remember the other one now. Uh, she thinks that there's some sort of a, a cult, I think. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys have any experience I watched, with that. We watched videos yesterday. Yeah, we did watch some videos yesterday. And it, it clarified a little bit more. Um, God forbid, though, if you have anything major happen. Well, it's not bad if you I understand. play for that brother's keeper on that one plan. <laughs> yeah. Well, then, then there's more money out of your pocket. Yeah, but pocket. it's only like $25 oh. more a month. So it'd be $175 a month. How many times are you going to say that? There's only $25 more dollars a month. I only said it two times. No, I'm saying for just that. Then, oh, it's only $25 more dollars a month for extra self-service. Oh, it's only $25 more dollars or $50 more dollars for the higher bracket of no. whatever. It's one fifty a month <laughs> for the highest level, and then it's twenty about approximately twenty five dollars a month for the 
anything over $125,000 incidents. I know, I'm just saying that that and then $25 for whatever else we run into. <laughs> we, I mean, we've got it. You have to have health insurance. I have not seen health insurance anywhere else on any level for mm -hmm. a single person for less than $200 a month anywhere. So, it'd be I mean, nice if I could find a jo job that travels that carries health insurance. That's not happening because until they start showing up on Facebook, we're not going to see it. <laughs> you don't need to say that. That is not necessary <laughs> because you act like I don't have a job. I know you have a job, <laughs> but we've got to plan ahead. Plan ahead. We got to plan ahead. Okay, well, he's deleting that part. Okay. So, so what? What am I? Do, what am I deleting up to? The part where you say I need to find a job on the road. Yeah, well, we can get rid of the Facebook part. Well, <laughs> so Heidi wants to find a job on the road traveling. Well, we on all, Facebook. We, yeah, <laughs> on kidding. Facebook. <laughs> Making fun of me. <laughs> yeah, I was. I've been teasing her for quite some time about. I'm not hey, allowed on Facebook. I'm not allowed to use my adult coloring books. I'm yeah. supposed to be finding ways to make a living on the road after I worked 11 hours. He Heidi should do <laughs> mail marketing or something because nope. she, she can sit there and do piecework all <laughs> day long and it doesn't bother her. It doesn't, she'll sit down and play word games on her phone for <laughs> literally hours. I mean like two hours She'll just be making up words out of scrambled <laughs> out of six scrambled letters for two hours straight, and it doesn't bother her. I couldn't do that. So, what you should do is you should kind of identify as that you know a personality thing. If you don't have a problem doing the same thing over and over and over and over and over and over again, as long as you're comfortable doing it, then why wouldn't you get a job that kind of did that? I mean, like again, mail mail marketing. I mean, that's just stuffing envelopes over and over and over again. Um, but yeah, she could do t-shirts, stuff like that, printing t -shirts. We're not going to do that. I mean, that's all inventory and you carry it with you. I would like to f have her find something online that she liked to do and um, could continue to do that, you know, wherever we were right. nationwide. So the only way she's going to find that kind of job is if she's hunting it down actively. But, you know, it, it's funny because those jobs pretty much fill themselves I think so it's kind of hard to find that it's kind of it's really tough to find that um, on another front entirely unrelated to what I just said another shot somebody's exploding stuff out there I don't know that's it, close it's a Sunday why are they making explosions I don't know if you guys mm -hmm. can hear that but so um, right now we're filming with my camcorder that I've had for quite some time I bought it used and it's an exceptional exceptional model we love it the low light ability on it, eh. and because this is what I do, um, I went ahead and purchased a new camcorder, which is going to be coming in on Monday. I don't think I'm going to talk about that much. Maybe on my other channel I will for sure, but, you know, whenever you guys are, are vlogging, blogging, if you want to do this stuff on YouTube, um, you're, you got to do it just for the love of it, for the most part, because it doesn't really pay you back, and it, you shell out a lot of money for stuff. Uh, as we sit here, we've got, you know, I have a $400 wireless mic. She has a $400 wireless mic. I have a $70 remote for the camera. The camera I bought used, and it was $430 for it. I'm looking at a $70 monitor. For me. For her, because <laughs> she has a hard time seeing the small monitor. I have a, a forty dollar lighting system over here, and um, this isn't really sufficient enough. Uh, yeah, and it's on a thirty it's on a thirty dollar tripod and a fifteen dollar tripod. <laughs> those two things. So you've got to spend the money on on this stuff to stay up to date. Uh, so I went ahead and bought a, a new camcorder that's going to replace this one, and uh, that camcorder was sixteen hundred dollars I, I really have a hard time spending money on equipment but it's just like in my garage um, when I needed tools you know 
to do my job. I, I bought tools that I needed that I knew that I was going to use a lot. The camcorder that I'm getting ready to, to pick up, it's actually about three years old. It's, it's brand new, but it's the model's been out for three years. But uh, as far as the picture quality, it's, it's definitely better. And it's got a few features that this camcorder don't have. It'll make it a little bit easier for us to use. So again, unrelated, but I just wanted to let you guys know. I, I have those questions occasionally come through and I I just try to send them to my other channel, but I, I haven't been doing a lot of reviews on stuff recently. So I think that's it for our update. Uh, as far as our plans for winter, again, winterize, we got to bring in all of our stuff. Another explosion. So I don't know what's going on, uh, but we've got hoses that we need to bring in. I have my pressure washer in the garage. I got to put that away. Um, the water tank and the water pump in the back of my truck. I need to uh, drain that out. I'm going to just take the water pump out of the truck and I'm going to put it down in the basement or, or in the, yeah, it doesn't make a difference at that point. Once it's off, I can make sure it's empty, but probably put it in the house somewhere and, uh, get ready for winter uh, i mean that's a sad sad state of affairs i hate winter um but uh it's nice that winter's taking its time to get here i mean our fall we still have leaves on the tree oh look at our rain gutter it's filled with leaves oh boy oh boy so i'm gonna have to do that eventually i'm not doing that today though even though it'd be a perfect day for mm, it it's not really a perfect day if there's lightning in the forecast well sure <laughs> give me a little <laughs> oomph to my step <laughs> so that's it guys uh, that's the end of this video and as always we hope to see you out there bye bye